Good morning everyone, welcome to my channel and today I have a for you video that we finally can learn something from. Um, if you're new here, thank you so much for visiting this page and would mean world to me if you would like to subscribe to my channel, just hit subscribe button. If you think you like this video and you want to see more, I have loads of content about fashion, beauty, style, um, reviews also and what else? Daily vlogs. Yes, the most important daily vlogs. <laughs> but today I just want to bring a little bit of value to all of you guys. Um, which is how to find your uh, personal style in fashion and also in decorating makeup, hair and so on. And my journey, I just, it took me 20 years and I want to shorten your journey. I do not want you to take 20 years to figure out your style, what you really love, what you really like. And for me back then, um, 20 years ago, the only inspiration that I have was my friends and family and also just the small kind of magazines. There was no internet back then. I could not get my inspiration from anywhere else. Um, but also I've always tried to be more different than everyone else. So even if I like something on my friends, I was always trying to make it look a little bit different. I always wanted to stand out um, from everyone else around me. I don't know where's that coming from, maybe a low self-confidence hardly is it? I just want to be a different and I want to shorten that journey for you today and I have a 10 tips plus a bonus tip um, in the meantime also I'm gonna have a bonus tip for you how to quickly enough to find your personal style in fashion and things that you will love from now on and have in your wardrobe forever are you ready let's start tip number one is observe 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 and as much as it sounds a little bit silly, I'm not a big fan of this world, but just to let me explain to you as best that I can, you need to train your eye like I was over the last many, many years. Train your eye in a way that when you're looking at the pictures, observe those, those pictures, you kind of train your eye of things that you will like. And also you will be naturally memorizing combinations of different colors and patterns. And that brings me to uh, first, um, part of that tip which is the fashion shows. I would highly recommend it to watch some of the fashion shows let's say of some of the famous and very very popular and lovely designers that are at the moment like Zimmerman, Balmain, Chanel which is obviously always a timeless designer and look at those fashion shows. I'm going to leave the link below where you can actually look at them on the Vogue website and I usually just look at maybe five or six designers. It depends how much time I have and I just looking with the curiosity. I'm not only flicking through, flicking through the pictures but I'm looking at interesting trying to learn pattern combination for example different color combinations how greens can work well with reds and so on shades of those colors um, then I'm kind of like analyzing what um, styles are upcoming without blindly following the fashion trends. I'm just training my eye what it's upcoming, what color are going to be popular and what I might actually like. Different cuts of the fabric as well, folding. So I'm taking my time when I'm observing. But also fashion shows might be a little bit overwhelming at the start. Therefore, why not to follow your favorite fashion YouTubers, bloggers, vloggers, Instagrammers, where you're actually going to get a current styles, current trends, current uh, combinations of different clothes and where you can look at the luxury, as, let's say pieces combined with more high street pieces. Next, I would uh, recommend to subscribe to the website like Zara, Mango, uh, for example, or Reese if you're looking a little bit for more quality. And a lot of those retailers have their own photo shoot, editorial photo shoot, when you can look at the combination how they actually combine the pieces that they have for a current season. Also, if you subscribe to retailers, um, you are going to get information every time, um, let's say, sale is coming up or they added new pieces to their sale. I also would highly recommend to visit high-end boutiques and high-end stores like Harrods or let's say in Ireland Brown Thomas and at the start I have to say I was very very scared to walk into those stores even Reese I was terrified to walk in because I felt like I cannot afford those pieces I'm not gonna buy anything therefore I don't want to waste anyone's time but I did overcome my fear and come out from my comfort zone and I went to Brown Thomas which is very like a Harrods in Ireland I'm just slightly smaller <laughs> and when I went 
went in, I went to Chloe stand, Chanel and Prada. And I have to say Chloe stand and Prada section, I, they were so welcome in it. And I just, I explained, I'm not buying anything. I just want to look at your beautiful pieces, admire the craftsmanship. And I was surprised how pleasant they were. They explained it to me as well that most of those bags are staying in. The one that I really, really love, they said, don't worry, don't rush. This bag is going to be there whenever you're ready. We're going to have this style for a number of seasons or number of years. We're not removing the style from sale. And if you like something else on the website, we can get it for you. Try it on. I know you're not buying today, but please try it on. They were such a pleasant and lovely. Also in Chloe, I was surprised that prices were for Chloe bags are slightly less than, for example, Prada bags and were a little bit more affordable. But once I make that first step, I felt much more confident to come in next time, next time and so on. And eventually I was able to buy a Chanel brooch. And I actually come across second time, I'm coming across a lovely person in Chanel and he was absolutely lovely and very, very helpful. And this was a present, my Christmas present from a column. So my first a proper designer accessory piece. Um, what else? So if you go into um, high-end luxury boutiques, even like Crease, you will learn more about quality of the fabric and you might appreciate more of the quality and try to maybe save the money for a beautiful piece instead of spending on 10 different pair of trousers instead of buy one lovely pair of trousers like I'm wearing today for example from Reese it's a lovely white pair of trousers and I did immediately subscribe to Reese website and I was just chasing the Reese for a sale i was waiting for sale and when they came up on sale i bought them but if i do really really love instantly in reese i'm sometimes buying on the full full price um because i know th those pieces are timeless the quality is amazing if you want to watch my reese videos i'm going to leave all the link below the pieces that i bought over the last uh, couple of months next would be also a part of this observe tip would be to create your own mood boards you can create them on your phone or also i would highly recommend to subscribe to pinterest where you can just simply create your own mood board with the pictures that you are like and if you want to also i'm going to leave the link below to my mood board on pinterest which you can follow if you wish so every time i pin new picture or upload a picture um, you're going to see it in your feed and this brings me to a tip number two which is study study and study again so study the pictures that you pinned or liked you can also make a screenshot when you're watching at the fashion shows do a screenshot of the pictures that actually you found interesting so study those pictures once you have a group of them what do you really like about them so for example is it certain color that you really attracted to and do not worry if this color does not suit you i do not want you to stress about I'm not saying this powder pink is the best color on me, but I feel very comfortable and happy in it. And that's the most important. So study the pictures for the shapes as well. Are you attracted to maybe trousers more than the skirts and um, the different cut? Um, do you prefer polka dot versus flowery patterns? Look and try to find maybe something that brings those pictures all together is it simplicity of it is it timeless pieces bohemian style maybe or is it uh, more vintage more modern more edgy um, and that will help you more to define what you actually really really like so tip number three would be take notes have a look at your mood boards your screenshots and describe in about three five or ten words if you wish so what do you like about them and write down in detail so for example i love sophisticated style but what sophisticated style actually means you can actually google it as well sophisticated style and will give you the answer what it actually means which is more polished kind of nearly too extreme look clean lines um just lovely and in impeccable style also for me next word would be more edgy which i like something that it's more fashionable yet wearable not too much of the top let's say kind of overstyled um, next i would look at the colors so my definitely color scheme would be neutrals i'm so attracted to neutral colors and powdery colors soft shade um, versus more kind of vibrant colors i definitely do not like them i don't even wear too much red um, i think i wore once red lipstick i might wear it in the future but that's as far as i go i'm never gonna wear um, red shoes even if i purchase red shoes before i know i'm not going to wear them it's just not what I love, not what I like. And my 
other fourth word would be, for example, for me would be luxury. I just love a craft craftsmanship. Um, I appreciate handmade pieces as well and I've always admired the time that was put in and I appreciate the time that was put in to those pieces. Tip number four, incorporate what you love into your makeup, for example, your nails and home decor. Surprisingly enough, I've learned that my home decor match so much of what I love, which is more simplicity, but something a little bit more interesting as well, interesting kind of unexpected combination of patterns. But still, as you can see, they are neutral colors and I love bring a little bit of style, for example, and timeless like this lovely chair, as you can see, and the cushion that was handmade. And I do appreciate that these chairs, let's say, were handmade. So I appreciate the craftsmanship. It is reminding me of luxury where the wall is a little bit more edgy and it is something different. So as you can see, it's quite repeated um, what you love to wear reflect actually in your home decor which is great it save us some time but also you can create separate mood boards for hair and makeup and also for the home decor if you wish on the Pinterest or on your phone in the folder. Tip number five color and body shape matter but Please do not stress yourself about it. I did stress myself about it over the years. I was looking deeply in my body shape. Am I pear shape? Apple? What actually am I? And a lot of those advice was lovely and great to kind of learn a little bit more that maybe shorter jacket looks better than the lo longer jacket on me. But it never stopped me from buying a longer jacket if I love it, for example. It did give me a little bit of um, self-consciousness. For example, it was advisable not to wear too much of a low cut with the smaller breasts like I have, um, not to wear low cut tops or jumpers. And since then, it kind of made me a little bit of more self-conscious. Oh, this is not suits me. I should not wear it like that. And if I, if I, even if I loved a piece, I was kind of stopping myself from buying because I thought it does not suit me. Yet. I felt comfortable and happy with it. So I broke those rules and I do not follow. If I love um, a particular color and does not suppose to suit my skin tone, I do not care. I love the color, I love the top, how it looks on me, and I'm just going to wear it because it just makes me happy. And that is all about, at the end of the day, something that makes you feel comfortable, confident, and happy. Tip number six, consider your lifestyle and a comfort. Of course, it's very important that if you spend more time at home than you spending in work or vice versa, you might need more of those pieces. But I've noticed that over the last while, I will try to combine my workwear, homewear more together to save a time, save overthinking what I should wear, what I not have a wardrobe separated into loungewear, um, smartwear, going out wear and so on. I've actually noticed that over the last while, my style is such a blend in and I've tried to dress up more at home. It just makes it so much easier for any styling and having more idea and clear idea what it's in my wardrobe, what I actually can wear. So quite often what you see now, what I'm wearing now, I would wear sometimes at home. I also would wear to dinner party and so it's all start to blend in in one and I'm really enjoying it. I don't have to spend too much time on thinking what am I supposed to wear to dinner party and also you get more value from those pieces. If you, I've noticed if I bought something, a beautiful dress for example, and I want to leave it for a special occasion, quite often that occasion never came and in a year or two I let's say got a little bit of tired of looking at that dress and never went on. I lost confidence in myself to wear it. So when you buy a piece, try to wear it straight away if you can. Tip number seven, accessories are important and they dress up every single look, even smallest a single accessory. Again, it took me a while to learn even where earrings. I was, I went through the phase of wearing big chunky necklaces and suddenly I stopped and stopped wearing anything. I think I was confused and didn't know what I like anymore. But now I learned with the style, the classic kind of simple, simple style, a little bit edgy as I mentioned, sophisticated luxury. I remember the words and neutrals. I'm also matching accessories to it. When I'm, when I'm looking for accessories, I have in mind all those words. Um, a little bit of luxury as much as I can, of course, and something timeless, clean lines and so on. So as you can see, I'm kind of have a lot of simple accessories on me today, but 
believe me or not, it took me a while to even put a bracelet on. Um, same with the shoes. Um, suddenly trainers become a fashionable couple of years back and I was a ballerina person. I wear ballerina so, so much. But I bought inexpensive pair of shoes, trainers, and I just wore them for a day and I started to love them and liking them. So sometimes, again, it's comfort zone. Come out a little bit from the comfort zone and see that you might like it. And as I mentioned, um, I would suggest for accessories to buy maybe something very inexpensive, like a bigger maybe earrings, and see do you like that style on you? And then if you do, then invest in more expensive pieces. Tip number eight, shop your closet. Before you come in and start buying new pieces of things that you might like, shop your closet first. Have a look for one, even one favorite piece, a piece that when you touch it to look at it, it just sparks this amazing joy and love and happiness. And look at it, why do you like it? Is it a fabric? Is it a craftsmanship? Immediately make sure that it's clean, ironed and hung very pretty well in your wardrobe. Let's say as a first piece. Next, have a look, do you have anything else in your wardrobe that you might match with this, let's say, top, for example? Do you have a trousers or a skirt that might match? If you're not sure what works with it, I would highly recommend to look at the hashtags on Instagram, for example, hashtag white trousers or tr trousers, or Pinterest is absolutely amazing. Let's say if you put um, women's white trousers in search, it will give you great ideas and combinations of different outfits, not only white, tra white trousers styles, but also what you can wear them with. And then if you're missing a piece, um, try to make a list of things that you think you will need for your next shopping trip journey or even shopping on the internet. Personally, I love shopping on internet because it gives me so much time. I don't feel pressured. Um, and for many retailers like Zara, for example, I've been buying for years of orries. I actually know my size now and I feel more comfortable. Therefore, I would highly recommend to go to those stores and try the pieces to know what size you are in case in the future you decide to buy the pieces from them. Next tip is imagine your ideal scenario. Where would you wear those pieces together, for example? Um, I made a lot of mistakes by going to a store and let's say I saw a beautiful dress that would be perfect for summer holidays, absolutely not suitable for um, where we live. And I purchased a dress with the hope that I'm gonna go for this amazing holidays and that's where I can wear them. <laughs> um, holidays never came and dress went out of style. Um, I fell out of love, my style have evolved and changed and that dress is still hanging in my wardrobe and it's time to say goodbye. So now I know I spend more time at, let's say, going out, having lovely family dinner. And when I shop, I kind of always see that as the ideal scenario. What I wear to that? And if I do wear to that, I then make a decision. If it's something that it's not upcoming, it's not going to happen, or I don't have a um, family wedding coming up, I'm not going to be wearing a dress for something that it's not going to happen anytime soon. And believe me or not, if a time comes, you're going to find this amazing swimsuit that is going to be in perfect in style and fashion and something that you will love at the time. Do not buy anything in advance if you know you don't need it yet. Tip number 10, your style will change and please accept that your style will change from now on what you love today. In a couple of years, your body shape might change, your situation might change, the place you live and so on. So therefore, it's okay to fall out of love what you have now, what you love now, what you admire now. There will be some continu continuality in your style, of course. You can look at my old videos as well and see how my style evolved since but there are some similarities. I always loved white as well, and you're gonna see the white dresses before in my shopping trips and journeys. Um, but also, I'm so proud of what I'm wearing now, and I'm still proud of my choices back then. And I just forgive myself for buying those pieces. I'm trying not to feel guilty about it ever for what you buy, because it, it suits me and I loved it at the time. And also, if you still have that piece that you fell out of love, Thank to that particular piece or summer dress that you're not gonna wear it again to teach a new valuable lesson. This piece, this part of clothing taught you what you do like or what not you do not like, um, what you see, what's not. So just say thank you and let it go. Give it away to charity shop on whatever you wish to do with that piece and just forget about it, move on and look forward to your lovely fashion journey from now on. 
And this brings me to my last bonus tip for you. It's all about self-belief and building self-confidence that believe it or not, I do not have much of myself. I remember there was the lovely lady um, who lived in the city where I work and she was 50 years old and she was wearing always beautiful short skirts, Chanel-like, and they were high street pieces, but she looks so glamorous and amazing. I always admire her and I'm always reminding myself because I'm 40 years old, 42 years old, does not mean that I cannot wear this lovely, shorter, classic, beautiful skirt just because someone doesn't like it. So it doesn't matter what body shape you are, what age you are, no one should tell you what you should or what should you should not wear. It's your own style. And by small steps every single day, coming out from the comfort zone and wear, let's say wear off the shoulder top like this one, I'm learning and I'm, I'm building my self-belief. One of my comfort zones recently was as well, I asked my partner, would it be okay if I start to dressing up like this at home? Am I gonna look silly if someone comes in? Am I look actually silly? Like, why am I wearing such a dressy clothes at home? And he was so happy for me to look well and try to like look well for myself. And also he, he has been so proud of me to looking well. Um, he always supports me in my fashion choices and I know everyone's situation is different so if you need my support and advice and please send me a message through Instagram if you wish so or through YouTube and I will always support you in all your decisions and choices. You are special, you are different and no one can tell you differently. You deserve all, you deserve the best like everyone else in this world. So that's all my tips and tricks for you for today. Thank you so much for watching, for subscribing. I hope you learned something from it. I hope I bring a little bit of value to your life and I promise I'm gonna have more videos like that in the future, but thank you so much. Loads of hugs, loads of love, and I will see you in my next video.